G'day mate, Wood here from the channel Beat 'em Ups. I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. If it's your first time watching one, here's what I do. I go to the website, NSG Reviews, and there's a button for I'm Feeling Lucky. It will randomly pick a Nintendo Switch game out of the thousands of Switch games. Whatever game it is, I gotta buy it and I gotta try it. We've done this a few times. The only thing new about this time is my glorious mustache. <laughs> The last time we tried to do this, I thought it was great. I talked to a AI robot and had the robot pick my games for me. Sadly, the views on that one weren't as high as just me pressing a randomized button. That said, I do really want to quickly catch up with Sarah and just make sure she's doing okay. Hey, Sarah. Sorry, it's me. Been a while. Yeah. Oh, look, the views just weren't there. I'm sure you understand. You all work around me. No, no, honey. No, a lot of people really loved you, Sarah. But we have to go back to what worked. Oh, Ward? Oh, I spelled that wrong. Who? Oh, God, this is the awkward bit. Because it's kind of like I'm cheating on her, right? What's his name? What's a dumb person name? Todd. <laughs> She'll know who Todd is. XD. Oh, Sarah's throwing shade at Todd. Look, I've got to go. I'll tell Todd you said hi. Hi, Alec. Sorry, who's Alec? Uh, just another intelligence out there. Oh, so Sarah's seeing other people too. I see how it is, Sarah. Trying to make me jealous. Good for you. I'm really happy you've moved on. Who are you? Oh, Sarah, you're a bitch. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Let's do it. I'm feeling lucky. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, I don't have that one. Caves and castles. It looks like it's going to be horrible. Don't tell me I'm not going to be able to make this video right now because the server is under maintenance. Are you kidding me? Let me try the Australian eShop. Maybe it's only the American one that's down. Oh, <laughs> Nintendo, why do you hate me? Sarah, did you know the Nintendo eShop is down right now? I thought that it reflects light. Sarah, did you have something to do with this? No. Oh, okay. All right, fine. These are all going to be awful, aren't they? Potion party. Next. Technosphere. $15. The prices are getting higher and higher. No, 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 no. <laughs> Swamps and traps. Oh, okay. So far, I feel like it's literally all just terrible, terrible games. So I would like to get one that's good. Oh, no. By my own rules, I have to buy this. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. We're going to leave it at nine for now. And then I'm going to download these when I can. Let me Let me try one more time. Okay, okay. All right. In the meantime, I guess since I'm spending so much money on these, this is a perfect time to cut to the sponsor. Thank you to the sponsor. <laughs> well, I guess the only thing to do while I wait for the eShop to load is listen to a good audiobook. Go to audible.com forward slash beat-em-ups or text beat-em-ups to 500, 500 For the last couple years, I've been an active user of Audible. Last time, I told you about some of my favorites, Supermarket and Paddle Your Own Canoe. So this time, let's find something new. Apparently, because of my recommendations, uh, Nick Offerman also hosts Bedtime Stories for Cynics, Snarky Tales for Adults featuring performances by Tommy Chong, Patton Oswalt, David Spade, and many more. I love discovering new originals like this. Being able to listen anywhere when you're cooking, cleaning, exercising, on a walk, or just relaxing. It's a huge benefit. I also love that it's cutting down my ridiculous amount of screen time. Give my eyes a break. With an Audible Plus membership, you can download or stream without limit. So why not give it a shot for free for 30 days by going to audible.com forward slash beat-em-ups or text beat-em-ups to 500-500. Now I've listened to this entire audiobook. The eShop has to be ready by now. The eShop's back up. It's only been a couple hours. We just gotta buy them. We just gotta buy them. Caves and castles. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I really shouldn't look at the games. Water Balloon Mania? You know that's not gonna be good. Oh no, I'm not looking at it. Techno... 
fear. Sorry, do I not look excited to play any of these games? Sorry. <laughs> Let me pick the energy back up. Swamps and traps. Ah, oh, game of the year. You know this one's gonna be good. Oh God, look at the trash. Look at the absolute trash. We'll start with Caves and Castles Underworld. It has kind of cute art, but you know it's probably gonna be bad. All right, well the game starts like this. No title screen or anything. Just straight into, I finally arrived. Oh, that's a choice for a character. <laughs> I'd like to return the bird that delivered your invitation. I feel like we're missing parts of the story here. Oh, press the button to start the task. Oh, okay. So I have returned a bird. <laughs> Help Greg open the gate. Quest finished? I don't think I did anything. I think I just yanked on the bars. What is this game? There's an entrance to the cave covered in cobwebs. Find a torch. Wait, so I just pay 400 coins and she kneels down somewhere and just finds a torch? Quest finished? This, what is- This is all I can do, by the way. Wait, that's Greg? What are we, having a screaming match? He's so far away from the gate. Okay, so now the game begins, I guess. Oh! Well, this is riveting. I don't understand this at all. It told me nothing. I thought if I created something here, she would fall through. Oh, I have to unblock all of the ones in the path. There we go. Cool. Done it. Now she can walk through. That one's done. That one's done. Easy. Easy clap on that one. Get you in the little door. You know, sometimes when I make these videos, people tell me I don't play the games long enough, but guys, where was that one going? I was just excited to get to Water Balloon Mania. Oh, it's Dr. Mario. It's literally just a Dr. Mario clone. So if I stack four, it should pop. Yep, it's Dr. Mario with water balloons. Next, we have Lost Artifacts Golden Island. I highly doubt it, but please be a good game. It doesn't support pro control. Like an absolute heathen, I'm playing with the Joy-Cons. What about this game? Couldn't take a pro controller. It's a bold move. Let's see if it pays off. Awakening after the crash, we found ourselves on a large island. The plane was damaged and needed repairs. Please don't be a puzzle game. Please don't be a puzzle game. Level one, stock up on food, restore farm. Oh, we might have a little farming game here. Good morning. There are a long road ahead of us. All right, cool. First, we need resources. Wow. Time to restore the farm. Unfortunately, I don't have enough resource. Well, then it's not time, is it? Grab this log now. No resources. So I'll grab resources from here, which takes three seconds. Run back with those. Now I have the resources to get that log. Now I can grab these resources and now I can build the farm. So it's kind of like a puzzle game where you get put in a world and you have to build something or remove something, but you need a certain amount of resources to do each thing. So you need to figure out which order you take care of each of the things to do the other things. And now that I built a farm here, I can just keep going back and forth between these two farms, grabbing food. So why couldn't I use a pro controller again? You want to refresh me on that? <laughs> Whatever. Next. Potion party. Please. All right. So we got a bunch of characters. Oh, actually, we really do. Some of them look pretty cute. Look at this wolf guy. Get water. Yeah. All right. Get water. All right. Get water. This game has told me nothing. You want water too? Is that what you're asking for? Here you go. I don't think she wants water. Oh, is this like overcooked? So maybe I'm making a potion now, a blue potion. That would make sense, right? Okay, so that goes in there and then it needs water. Then this goes here. All right, so fill that up. This is hectic. I can't handle this. Oh, there's a time limit on her too. She's almost done waiting. Well, she was happy. Why won't you go in? Why won't you go in? What? I don't get it. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. blue! What the heck? The beak is in. Great. And then blue. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> it won't let me do a blue. Maybe the next person will want red. That's my only hope. It's if someone wants red with eight seconds left. Come on. You want red? <gasps> okay, I'm in at this one. Let's do a uh, next level, I guess. That was actually pretty fun, other than when it stopped working. Put a beaker, make a yellow potion, water my plants. Holy crap, my guy. There's something wrong with this game. It's broken. So yeah, water, dust, and that thing makes a potion. Because I didn't turn it to dust. Why am I so dumb? I feel like everyone has been screaming at me. Oh, I can make it. As long as this just combines and there's nothing else I have to do. 
Yeah, baby. There you go. See you later, happy customer. I'm literally like bouncing in my seat because I was getting so nervous about not making that. I'm really happy. Oh my God. I was really worried that I wouldn't find a game that I liked. Oh, okay, I need to make yellow. Oh, I've got a yellow potion brewing right up for you, weary traveler. Potion seller. Potion seller. Here you go. Thank you, potion seller. Oh, lucky day, Mr. Wolf. Just so happened I have one in stock. Made a little bit extra earlier. Okay, I really do like this one. And MotoGP is now finished downloading, which is heartbreaking. I'm gonna play this one more in my own time, for sure. That's a really good one. Potion Party, if you're watching this, please rebrand yourself because you're art here. Poopoo schmoopoo. When I look at this, I honestly think I'm about to play some budget puzzle game that's not going to be any fun. Marketing is everything, and I really feel like you need to market your game better. Because honestly, looking at all these thumbnails here, they all look equally terrible. While your game is a standout actual knockout for the price. I'm just saying. Okay, well, MotoGP did just finish downloading, so I guess we better play it. Oh, they're not hiding anything, are they? Honestly, racing games are my least favorite games in existence. I honestly can't think of any other game I would want to play less than a racing game. Well, Xenoblade Chronicle. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Honestly, racing is the worst. Oh, you gotta wait so long to race. This is giving me WWE 2K18 flashbacks. Kind of pressure. Well, I gotta say, they captured my sleep paralysis demons perfectly. Oh, this, this is not a pretty game. Can I do a wheelie? Can I pop a wheelie? I really don't know what any of us expected. It took forever to get in the game. It feels like it's running at a steady 20 FPS. I don't know what has happened with any sort of background or sky in this game, but it's all just one matte color. It's just riveting, riveting fun. I really don't get who plays these games. I really don't get it. I'm sorry, but racing games just aren't for me, man. Who cares? At least Mario Kart has like bananas and stuff. You know what else I hate? I I hate that you have to take corners slowly. Like, I just want to belt it in my racing games, like in Mario Kart. I got nothing funny to say. I have no commentary on this one. It looks bad. It plays bad. I'd rather go back to Potion Party. Swamps and Traps. <laughs> Pretty cool intro, honestly, for a game that's not gonna live up to that hype at all. Divider, it's you again. He is your precious key, Mike. That's not how I expected that guy to sound. <laughs> 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 uh. It's really hard to control. He Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tripping me out. What the heck? No, no, no. So if I'm here, then I have to pretty much just long jump. What the heck, man? I don't know how I feel about this at all. It's honestly not a bad idea in concept at all. I think the mechanic works, but it's kind of ugly. Like, I feel like this is actually really close to being something kind of cool and unique. It just ended up being a little too budgety looking and feeling. This one's called Depiction. Welcome to Depiction, a colorful new twist on nonogram puzzles. I don't know what a nonogram puzzle is. Nonogram pu a puzzle. Okay, it's telling me. Crap, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Not all that hard. You Try to solve this row yourself. Okay. This one has to have a light and a dark. So that's... Oh, I did it. Oh, one of these have to be blank. Yeah, that has to be blank. Oh no, it's showing me all my mistakes. I kind of like that one. I'm not going to lie. It's just like Sudoku. So a similar level of relaxation for those that like puzzles. But at the end of it, you end up making a picture. It's actually a pretty cool concept. Zoriath Star Glider. Okay, so it's Galaga. Yeah, I mean, Galaga clones are almost never bad. There's nothing really to say about it though. You know what? I get it. That might be the genre or type of game that has been recreated and replicated the most out of any kind of game ever. I see so many Galaga clones. Technosphere Reloaded. My hair has gotten really long again, I'm now realizing. I feel like it was only last week Kim cut it to like here. That was a video on my second channel. I uploaded there recently, actually. A video with my friend Eric. We did a fast food tier list. If you want to watch that, I'd appreciate it. If you don't know who Eric is, you should watch our podcast. We just revamped it. Ooh, what is this? Oh no, I really have saved the best for last, haven't I? You know, I feel like not everyone should be allowed to make a game. 
<laughs> you ever think about the fact that there are 10,000 games on the eShop? Do you ever wonder if a developer's ever sneaked in, like something they shouldn't have. You have to imagine that in like one of these random games that we buy, maybe near the end or in the credits, they've like hidden a giant PP or something. Like there has to be something like that that no one has discovered yet. There's no way. And I think that because if I was a game developer, I'd probably want to do that. <laughs> probably try and hide stuff like that in. Oh, it's like... It's like void of life. Even that massive teleporter just went... <laughs> All right, well, we really did find one standout today and I'm pretty happy with that. Potion Party, I recommend grabbing it and giving it a shot. Hey, Sarah, Todd and I had a great time together. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I love to have a great time with you. <laughs> yep, that would be nice. Well, bye. So what do you want to know about me? I am a human. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> as always, these videos are a riot. I don't know. It's the luck of the draw, man. Sometimes you get really good ones. Sometimes it ends up like today. If this video gets love and likes and interaction and views and you let me know in the comment section, you want me to do another one, I'll try again. Maybe we'll find really good games next time and one really bad one rather than the other way around. I have a blast either way. I hope you guys did too. Love you all. I gotta pee. Bye.